What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rocky Mardon and I'm back with another excited dance hall video tutorial. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to turn on the post notification, click the bell icon for further updated posts. Alright, so in this video, based off my title, I'm going to show you guys how to do side chaining in Studio One 4. So in order for side chain, you have to know what side chaining means and you have to have a reason why you go side chain because I know every time me side chain to be honest right me go side chain now and then when it's necessary so i advise you guys to do side chaining when it's necessary too all right so in a my in a my era in a my genre of music when me do dance all and reggae you would have good if me do side chaining when it comes to me dance all because most of the time him, the kick and the bass them them nice because them nice same frequency level you want to monitor one of them right or monitor the two of them to have them under control so in this case here, yeah, the main purpose what me gonna use side chaining for is for ducking. So that's one of the, that's one of the reason why you can use side chaining or one of the purpose for using side chaining for ducking. So um in order for this for work, you're gonna take one signal. So I'm gonna take the signal from the kick and I'm gonna send it to, to, to the bass. But in order for side chaining for if it take place, you have to add a compressor to your bass or a limiter. When when you kick go to the bass, it only trigger that certain section there where you set for happen for side chain or duck. So make a dive right into this. Alright, so it kinda it very very easy. Very very easy. And first thing you're gonna want to go on bass track or upon your eight or eight track and you're gonna add a compressor or a limiter. But before I do that, I just gonna play the rhythm right now and I can hear all the sections sound which part I'm gonna side chain. So I'm gonna play with, with everything and then I'm gonna play with the kick on the bass. Alright, so, so let me play with just the kick and the bass only. So let me solo these two. So just be, just ju just to let you know, this never mix, this no mix, nor nothing yet. So it might sound a little bit like trashy. So just ignore that. Or just tutorial purpose you are do this for. Alright, so so as you can hear, the, the in in a tone bad, you still hear the bass and you hear the kick, right? However, we just go do side chaining nevertheless upon this track. In order for this to work, first you need to do you need to go to your bass. So this is my bass 808 studio. I'm gonna add a compressor. So I'm just typing compressor up here so. See how you can use any compressor, any compressor at all you want to use. But just go use the default compressor because me just me know say everybody have this. So after you add a compressor to your bass, you want to go to your kick. And which part you see send button there, you click this the, the add icon and you want to go a side chain. And you're gonna say side chain to 808 compressor. As you can see, side chain 808 studio insert and the compressor. So you click that. Simple as that. And you see the little um the send control fader, right? come um underneath it simple as that 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 you can leave that because you now go pay attention to that we are pay attention to the compressor or to the limiter so in my case there is a compressor so now that for this work because i'm play this right now so as you can see well the, the little blue ball it kind of move up that for sure you say it activate okay let me take off this as you can see this are the it this are the bass when we act activate the side chain, you see the ball I move, bass off I kick, but not now really up now. As you can see, not now come through, it now compress, it now duck. So I'm going to show you this work. So um, you can test this. I'm going to just turn the ratio all the way up, turn up the trestle, wall, turn up the knee, right? Um, you definitely, when you come to your attack, you want a fast attack for this work. Because if you have a, if you have a slow attack, this is how going to happen. Not now go work. You can trash it. So we want this attack fast. And we gonna want this compress as much as possible. So we are turning this all the way down. So we are gonna like turn it squashy first and then we ride it. So basically that is side chaining. But we're not gonna leave it at that. Cause this is a mash up the whole base. Right? So we just have to cap this. You 
you have to keep to a level which part you hear the bass yeah and it a, it a compress and it a it a do it a do magic I don't really have a lot of way of explaining this no more based off of what you say that are, that are just it that are side chaining you have to take the signal from track A which is the kick and send it to track B which is the, the bass and as I say you want to do this in a case is when your, your, your bass and, and your, um, your bass are overpower like your kick but you want to keep your bass level you just want to like send the signal so every time the kick leaky right it chop P side so it go down that's anyone you know, have that's anyone you know, have it right through a compress because you don't know, want it distort the whole um kick. You don't know, want it mash up. Cause it will definitely mash up and get a funky sound. I don't you know, want that. As me say yeah, it all depends, you can always like research how much what amount of um racial level you want, what amount of um um threshold level you want, the knee level, and always know say when you do the kick and the bass, the ensure say the attack is very fast because you don't know, want it slower. Right? You want it just do it quick and release it fast so you can move on to a next sound or to a next frequency for attack so you can see if I turn the threshold all the way to zero nothing really happen you have to turn it all the way down This little by ball point right there, as you see, I go indicate when it start get compressed. And if you look right at the, at the minus monitor, you see the amount of signal will come through. So now, I get like minus 1.02 dB. So that amount of signal I get compressed. We want it compressed more. So we are going to turn down this so more. And the ratio have a lot for do it as well. So if me have a if me have a compressor or work right through like a 1.4, this is going to happen. And if you check if you check out the base levels now, you can actually see the audio ducking. 